runs to the pipeline from that facility. Taking it out should end the leak. The client this time is an environmental NGO. Destroy the facility. Stop that leak. This may seem like straight-up philanthropy, but there's another reason we agreed to it. The Mathinda oil field was outdated. Abandoned. Then the rebel group United moved in, taking it upon themselves to kickstart operations. United's been rapidly modernizing its arsenal. Rumor has it someone's been selling them U.S. military hardware. Intel's analysis suggests the broker's a front company, Cyphers. Keeping tabs on United can tell us who's pulling its strings.
position. Stop button is probably inside it. Oil transfer pump shut off confirmed. Has been Next, destroy the oily water separator tank. That'll ensure they can never use the facility again. Sun will set shortly.
Coming shortly at LZ. about this one, boss. Boss, we took another look into Sainer, the owner of the oil field. They were behind what happened. They hired the PF, not United. They restarted the facility all the while pretending they were the victims. One other thing. Sainer's Johannesburg head office is just a room in a multi-tenant building. Company's essentially non-existent. Three years ago, that investment fund stepped in and started gutting it through a series of mergers and sell-offs, and get this, the fund itself no longer exists either. It's a shell corporation, meaning someone is just using Sainer's name from the shadows. But what about those strange corpses? Just what the hell were they doing?